Hi, this is Abdullah Galal and this is the video number 8 in the product costing of manufactured items. This is also the second part of the SAP S4HANA demo. In the last video, I covered the master data part. Today, I'm going to cover the cost planning part. So this will include the cost center cost element planning, activity type, quantity, and the price planning. This will also include the cost splitting structure, then costing sheets. And finally, I'm going to do the standard cost estimate for our finished product. And we will see how all what we did is going to impact our final standard cost estimate. Now I'm going to start with the cost center cost element planning. And for this, I'm going to use the transaction KP06. So this transaction was available in SAP ECC and it is still available in SAP S4HANA but you cannot find it in the SAP menu anymore because it's going to be replaced with business process consolidation but until now we can still use the same uh, transaction so this is what I'm going to use here we have the planning version and again this is a plan and in the plan we can have multiple versions so I can have plan 1, 2, 3, 4 and then I'm going to decide to use only one of these plans as my main plan for me I'm going to use the version 0 version 0 is the plan actual version and this is the main version in SAP. Then we have the from period and to period. So my plan is going to be in August. So from and to is going to be uh, eight. Then we have the fiscal year 2019. And then I have the cost center from to and group or group. And then we have also activity type from to or group, cost element from to or cost element group. This is why in the last video, I explained to you guys how to create the master data groups in SAP. Uh, controlling module because we are going to use the master data groups everywhere so now the group I'm going to use of the cost center is demo and also I have another group for cost elements which is also called demo and I'm going to show you what is inside these groups now so before we go into, into the planning screen you should know that this screen is used for manual planning so this is how I am going to create the plan on SAP directory but we also have other ways to upload the plan through an excel sheet it is a very simple process. There are many ways to make it easier and quicker through Excel. But for me, because I'm only uploading a sample plan, I'm going to do it directly on SAP now. Now, before we go into the plan, I am going to show you the Excel sheet that explains my business scenario. So this Excel sheet, I'm going to try to upload and leave a link for it in the video so you can check it while uh, watching this video. So these are the cost centers I'm using. So I have admin 01, this is for admin expenses. I have production 01, this is for production expenses. And I have shared 01, which is for shared expenses. And again, this is going to demonstrate all the processes I want to show. Uh, the expenses I'm going to plan is, I have electricity, rent, wages, depreciation, salaries. The cost center plan, so, I have some expenses that are directly posted to our production cost centers and I have expenses that are posted as a shared expense between production and administration as I explained before. So in my plan, I have two expenses, electricity and rent are shared expenses. So initially I'm going to post them and I'm going to plan them on the shared cost center. Then I'm going to allocate a part of this cost to production and another part to administration. Then I also have wages, depreciation, and salaries, and these are directly posted to production cost center because they are very easy to track. So depreciation is for the machine used in production. So this is posted directly to our production cost center. Wages is for the labor, the workers were in the production line. So this is also posted directly to the production cost center. And salaries of the production supervisor is also posted directly to production. Now, the cost center allocation I'm going to do, this I'm going to explain when we go into the, into the cost center allocation part. For now, this is the plan I'm going to create. So to create this plan, I'm going to go back to SAP here. So I have used the cost center group demo and the cost element group demo, and I'm going to click on overview screen. So these are the cost elements that I'm using in my example, and this is the cost center PRD01. To go to the other cost centers in the group, I'm going to use the next and the previous arrows here. But first, I'm going to upload the production 01 plan. So for PRD01, 
let's go back to our example here I'll try to do this So for PRD01, I have 612 here, this one. The plan is 10,000, so 10,000. And then I have the other one is 710, this one, and the plan is 20,000. And then I have the last one is 611, this, and the plan is 5,000. Enter. So the total plan for our production cost center is 35,000 USD. Now I'm going to go to the next cost center by clicking here. So this one is for administration. I'm not going to upload uh, or to create any plan for administration for now. And then we have the shared expenses. So this one is shared zero one. And I have two expenses that I'm going to plan. So one of them is 6,300 here. And this one is going to be 10,000. And we have 6,300, 5,000, this one, and it's going to be also 10,000, enter. So this is the plan for shared, and this is the plan for PRD01. Then I'm going to click on save. Change it, data has been posted. Now before I continue, I'm going to display a report for cost center planning so we can see the plan of our production cost center. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into cost center accounting, information systems, reports, planning reports, cost center planning overview, KSBL. So the cost center I'm going to display is PRD01, enter. And this is the period, so for, uh, only for August 2019. And I'm going to click on execute. You can also display the report for multiple cost centers by using execute multiple. So I'm going to click on execute. And this is the plan I have for my cost center. So as you see, for the month of August 2019, the cost center PRD01, we have payroll expenses, salaries of 5,000. We have wages of 10,000. We have depreciation of 20,000. And this is it for now. We don't have anything else planned. So this is how we plan cost elements or expenses on our cost center. Now, the next step, I'm going to allocate some of the expenses from the shared cost center into our production cost center.